Howdy all, this is Shane, and we're here to check out the Tonal Professional Cardioid Solid State Condenser Broadcast Recording Microphone. I have this connected directly into my camera via an XLR input. So your mixer or audio device will need to have phantom power to be able to run this microphone. It should sound pretty sweet. It comes with a really cool little wind or pop filter on the front. It's detachable. It comes with the top part of this mic stand as well. The bottom part of the mic stand is actually mine. The rest of this was all in the box as well as the XLR cable as well. It's actually XLR to mini jack, but I'm using the XLR cable that I already have. So this microphone can be used for just about any purpose, whether you're recording acoustic guitars, doing podcasts, it could be a overhead for drums. It could be, you know, you could also run it in front of an electric guitar amp as well. Just back a hair as well, and it should sound pretty cool. One of the best features of this microphone is its uh, input level is 130 dB, which is actually quite loud. It's louder than most bands would be. So it's not going to distort up close to something loud, which is what you want. The frequency response is 20 to 20, so 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. If you do like the sound of this microphone, definitely check it out on Amazon. I've posted a link in the description below. And yeah, these mics are only $42.99 US, so... They're not expensive, and if you like the sound quality and you want to do a podcast or you want to use it for recording acoustic guitar, anything like that, definitely give these a look. I may use it on a podcast down the track just to, you know, see how it sounds in comparison to my regular Rode microphones. So if you are a fan of my podcast and you do listen in regularly, let me know what you think of the sound of this microphone versus the black one that I normally use, the NT1. So yeah. Hopefully it sounds sweet. I'm yet to hear it. I'm just recording this live straight into the camera and I hope it sounds as good as it looks because it looks absolutely awesome. I should also note this is the box that it came in right here. It's all padded foam. The cable is still in there right here because I haven't used that yet. And it came with some instructions as well, which is cool in both English and Chinese. I assume that's Chinese on the back. And uh, yeah, very, very nice. So it looks it looks the part. It kind of reminds me a little bit of um, some of the blue microphones, uh, not so much their podcasting ones, but their pro mics in terms of physical appearance. And yeah, it's got an old classy look about it, which I absolutely love. Let's test it out now with a nylon string acoustic guitar. <laughs> hearing like a tapping sound it's just the button on my jacket it's nothing to do with the mic so let me know what you think i'm going to be testing out a few different microphones over the next week or two so come back and check out some more catch you soon see ya mm -hmm.